Hi guys, it's Amy from the Warrior Program. How are you doing? Love a little cheeky audio for you. So one of our team um, has heard through the through the grapevine of another trainer in another gym telling women that they can't do pull-ups because we're not built for it, apparently. So I'm guessing that the verification for the fact that we're not built for it is probably that no woman has ever done a pull-up, right? Oh, my God. Yes. (laughs) I have so much to say about this. And if you have ever been told something along these lines by somebody in our industry, then I am deeply sorry on their behalf because they've really done you a disservice and pretty much gaslighted you because, you know, we're here to support everyone who wants to to get stronger or to improve themselves in some way. And before you've even started, if you've got somebody telling you that, you know, that you you can't do this, you might as well just not not fucking bother, you know, you might as well just go home, then how much of a confidence boost is that going to be? You know, it's terrible. So women can do pull-ups, as evidenced by every woman you've ever seen in a gym doing a pull-up, or from the CrossFit documentaries on Netflix, or from all of the YouTube videos of of how to do a pull-up. So please rest assured that although a pull-up is hard... Um, if you think about it, you know, it's it's the equivalent to lifting your own body weight, which, you know, between what, 9, 10, 11, 12 stone, between 50 and 90 kilos, let's call it an average, hey, averages, but you know, whatever, just to put a figure behind it. Would you be able to go into a, into a gym and pick up dumbbells of that weight? Probably not. So cut yourself a little bit of slack. Know that it is 100% possible and 100% doable. Um, but also appreciate it for for what it is and how much of a challenge it is and have it alongside something like that as a lifting up a 50 kilo dumbbell. If you couldn't do that, manage your own expectations for how long it's going to take you and the work it's going to take you to get to that point at the same time as knowing that you can 100% get there. There is nothing about women which means that we cannot do anything that men can do other than some of the obvious biological functions which we won't go into here for, for fear of being inappropriate. Um, I read a book a little while ago um, and I cannot for the life remember it right now but I will, will um, note it in the comments when I do remember um, that there are there have been studies done with projections that in over the next hundred years that the performance of elite male and elite female athletes will level out completely. There will not be a gender difference. With the hypothesis being that the gender difference that exists now is purely due to social stuff and women being excluded from sporting activities or general life activities which allow you to inevitably build up strength because of all the sexist bullshit that has gone on for such a long time not because men are inherently better at all this kind of stuff yes of course you know i accept that there are biological differences between us male bodies can adapt faster in some circumstances to things male bodies can put on muscle quicker um but that's a can and that's a massive generalization you cannot approach it from a situation of men are this women are this because you know a, a man that's never stepped in the gym is probably not going to be as strong as a woman that goes there five times a week and has them for the past three years. You can't just have this blanket, black and white definition and apply things like women can't do this or men can't do this because there is something about them that means that that is physically impossible. Now, of course, you know, there are individual differences between people and some people, because of how they're built, might find things more challenging than others. And, you know, I'm not here to take away from that at all. That's something to be proud of, working on, you know, your your shit. But no one has the right, under any circumstances, to blanket ban, effectively, anybody from doing anything. You know, if if we were going around saying, oh, men can't do aerobics, then A, everyone will be laughing, and B we'd be called on bullshit and this is what I'm, I'm here to do today. So 
women have got just as much right and just as much ability to get strong and to get to where they want to be, whatever position that means, whether that's being financially secure, strong as fuck, independent, you know, whatever you want to do as a man or a woman, then here's a stamp in the ground, not that you need it for me to say, go fucking do it because you 100% can. And if anybody tries to tell you that they can't, I would look at it as an expression of their own insecurity. You know, have they really, really struggled to get a pull up and they feel ashamed because, oh, you know, they've been told that, that men can and it's really, really easy. So when you see a woman in the gym trying or succeeding either way and that can be a pretty triggering experience for you, I can imagine. So try to see, try to see that, that with compassion and try not to get, you know, super arsy about it unless that person is interfering in your space and in your life, in which case, arse away, my friends. So pull up, pull up confidence. You can do it. Seek out a way to do it. If you live in Bristol and you want help, we can help you do it. It's not going to happen just by dangling off a bar. There are specific ways and training methods to get there. But if you show up, invest the time, effort and money in getting there, you will get there.